Hey everybody, we're back. <laughs> we uh, we got a spam call that came in while we were doing this live, and then everything started going cuckoo. So hopefully everything looks right now. All right. I hope everybody's gonna come back. Okay. Yes, everybody's slowly coming back. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So so I was talking about <laughs> Dallas Fort Dallas Fort Worth Zoo. Better, good. There is an orangutan enclosure. We're like. In awe of these orangutans, Christina notices one of the orangutans is playing with a coin in its mouth. We're freaking out because we thought somebody might have thrown a coin in and that this orangutan is going to swallow it or choke on and, this. And she's like going like this because now I have the red cap from the tree. So she just kept going like this. Flipping it. In, in her a, mouth. And so Christina <laughs> runs. She's in panic <laughs> I'm mode. I'm going to save the orangutan. She runs to the orangutan. Yeah, orangutans are monitoring your life, <laughs> apparently. So Christina runs. She runs to the zookeeper and she's like, hey, hey, there's an orangutan that's going to choke on a coin. And then, a, and then the zookeeper goes, uh, yeah, that's her toy. And we're both like, oh. They're like, oh, don't okay. worry about yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm that's. Like, are you sure? Are you really sure? Unbelievable. Yeah. So anyway, that's our story with the Dallas Fort Worth Zoo. Beautiful zoo. Beautiful zoo. The zoo. Uh, yes, Janine Kalini. Yes, is so we are going to. We have a fabulous guest today, and we're going to approve her. And then we know from last week our screen is going to shrink. So yes. that's why I'm so low right now because I'm getting ready. Okay. Like it was obvious. Like it was. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You know they should have a sign. Here we go. Right, here we go. Uh, second in a series of Creative Corner. Oh no, it's my heart. Uh oh, here we go. There she is, Janine. Kalini. Awesome. Kalini. Yeah, we don't need to keep waving. If it's okay, we don't need to keep waving. Okay, if you we, let's move this up a little. Hey, I can, hear you. can you, uh, can you hear, hear us? We can. Oh, good. We, yeah, I, I hope. And I in I fact, uh, that's the party. She wants to. Is, oh, there's Bert. She wanted to see the cat. Wait, is that a dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, we we we're kind of doing a preview because we have a whole Easter artwork panel wow. section that's coming out, and so that is uh, we've got a, a few of those. I think we're going to be showcasing we're our swap in and out her. our Easter artwork panels uh, uh, next week, maybe pretty soon. Um, but anyway, we're we're not here to talk about Easter art. We are here. This is called our Creative Corner series, where we talk to our creatives, the people who are behind the artwork panels for your cat when your cat jumps into Frame Your Feline. And by the way, for any of you who do not know who we are. Or what we're doing. We should, found us. We should introduce ourselves before we talk about Janine. Um, I feel like I need two pillows now. So we are Frame Your Feline. Uh, it's where art and cat collide. You attach these frame your feline ensembles to your wall. Your cat jumps in. You can change out the artwork panels to have different backdrops for your cat. And, and your cat, unbeknownst to them, will sit for long periods of time, typically, and just look out at you, posing. It's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. We were named one of the top 10 cat products of 2022, which was totally cool. And here we are in 2023, and we're about to make some more waves this year. Yes, yes. And, and we, we, love our, we love our feline frame ensembles because they get rid of that ugly cat tree that so many of you hide in the corner of your home. Yeah, those... Unsightly dust collectors. Cat trees are nasty. They're <laughs> nasty. Um, but we... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, time is going fast, isn't it? Uh, fantabulous furries just said about Easter <laughs> yeah. coming up. Um, I keep forgetting to ask, how much weight can they hold? I have big cats. Good. Uh, we've had, okay, just so you know, we, we get two cats in there at a time. And so you could have up Well, to, it's on our website. It's on our website. 20 -ish. If, you, if you've got a 20-ish pound cat. If you um, peruse our Instagram feed, you'll see we have two Maine Coon cats. They're pretty big. Um, Hobie of Hobie and Turbo. Mm -hmm. And Maria the Caddis of Clea the Bangle and Maria the Caddis. So 
Um, these are tested. Uh, we want to talk about the engineering for a second? So yeah, and then we have a quick question. Yeah. But um, so yeah, these are these have been designed for safety for your cats to make sure that they do not budge when they are installed. They will not budge. We've made the installation process completely easy to do. Um, in fact, when you get your frame your feet on feline ensemble, you get this cool poster board that has oh. a level attached to it, and it literally tells you, okay, on your wall, make sure it's straight. You take this to the wall, you, you where it has little pilot holes. You put in the pilot holes. Take the poster board off the wall. Zing, little two screws on each one and boom you got the two shelves and then the frame attaches to those shelving units and um every feline frame ensemble comes with all the hardware you need to install plus two free artwork panels of your choice we have hundreds <laughs> to choose from and i think someone was asking about customized artwork panels possibly for a party for the cat Yes, we do customize artwork panels as well. You can even, you can upload an image to us. You order that, you upload an image. Or if you said, hey, I want my cat's name designed, we could do that too for you. <laughs> Just ask, we'll make it happen. Uh, and um, uh, what else? Oh, so yeah, two free, a feline frame ensemble, uh, two free artwork panels of your choice. I'm going to something to drink. Plus, I'm going to open up our LaCroix for the day. Plus, you get any feline frame style of your choosing. Right now we've got gallery gold, which is right there. You can choose traditional cherry wood. And we also have what is known as contemporary silver, which is pretty cool. So all of that is on our website, frameyourfeline.com. Frameyourfeline.com. And what's your name? And my name is Brian. And I'm Christina. All right, and yes, um, we would love to see your cats in a feline frame. All right, all right. And if you have any other questions, we will take questions uh, throughout. Um, you can always chime in in the little chat. Comment area. In the comment area. And we, <laughs> uh, we always love to know where you guys are located at too. So I know we had somebody in Canada. We've got somebody in Phoenix, Fort, Fort Worth. Worth. And okay. Janine is in. And, yeah, all right, so now, no further ado. without any further ado, <laughs> why are we here today? We're doing Creative Corner. We're talking to our creatives. Um, and today we are highlighting, we are showcasing, we are spotlighting one of the most talented creatives of the bunch, Janine Colleen. Woo-hoo! And, and you are where, I'm in Janine? Tucson, Arizona. Bel Belgium. Yes. Uh, Tucson, or in, Arizona. In the east, you might say Tucson, which is completely incorrect. <laughs> but I taught, I had a special <laughs> talk to a service rep in Georgia yesterday, and she said, um, so you're from Tucson. And I'm like, if you say so. <laughs> but it, it is Tucson. <laughs> I, I think I said that's Tucson, how it's uh, and then I met you. That's how it's and spelled. Then you, you, you corrected me. <laughs> so we... We came across you. We yes. we met you in through Angeles. our church, right? And mm -hmm. in Los Angeles. And your we knew about your artwork before we ever mm -hmm. did this. You, you are. Uh, we're gonna show your artwork panels that we're, we have them printed. We're gonna cool. show a few with our cats in them. Um, and. Uh, Oh my word, could do you imagine gallery lighting above these? I know. Could you? <laughs> oh, yeah. We'd love yeah. to be in Tucson it's, right now. It's we awesome. Snow. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy the snow because it's going to get hot soon. <laughs> Believe me, summer will be here before you know it. Um, but your artwork, we have been fans of, and we actually, we purchased yeah. uh, one of your pieces from your website. By the way, so what is website, your website? Jeanine? Thank you for asking, Brian. <laughs> It's jcda.com, and that stands for Janine Colini Design Art. And um, I will be um, sending Brian a bio after this call, <laughs> so you can finally put it up on the website. Okay. Um, 
but it'll include the web address, which is jcda.com. And I'm also here on Instagram um, for simply my name, Janine Colini. And you can um, see what I do uh, art wise. Uh, mostly it's for my art. And of course, with tiny Bert. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, your, your art is amazing. Yes. And we've purchased your art to hang on our wall. Right. Not, nothing to do with cat frames. <laughs> Like the like the art that actually is in yeah. the frame that's just art, right? right. Um, no, no cat can jump in that Why? art. Um, but we got. Yeah. I, I think art of the yeah, state. art of the yeah. state. So yeah, and, and what is what is yes. the art of um, the state? A lot Describe of my work to... is inspired by lettering. I start as a graphic designer with. Um, I always say, like an artist will say, "Well, my medium is watercolor." As a designer, I, I often say my medium is typography because everything that we that I've designed as a publication of book designer over 40 years, 40, 40, is um, involved with a lot of letters and a lot of words. And sometimes they end up being stories. Sometimes they end up being advertising messages or marketing things about a company. So I... Uh oh, we lost your voice. We can't hear you. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh. Say something. Oh, so, yeah. Anyway. Now. Yeah. So, art of the state is now, map now, of the United now. States comprised completely of letters. Each state is drawn in the letters that form the shape of the state and spell the state name. And I could show you one, but I'd rather you went to my website to see it. Also, I, yeah, don't, no, want, everybody, I, I don't want to get up and pick go, it up go on to the, the wall. Website. <laughs> don't, but it's don't worry really about it. It's a colorful don't worry piece, about a fun it. piece. And I know that um, your, your little boy, well, he's not so little anymore, has one hanging in his room. It's perfect for a kid, really kids of all ages. I've sold them to immigration attorneys too, because their clients don't necessarily know where the states oh, are, and that's a great way to learn. Anybody, everybody likes something colorful and fun to learn of any age. Yeah. 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 yeah yes, that, that proudly hangs yes. in our son Jackson's yeah. room. He's sick, and it's a great way for him to reference, like, Anytime we're online doing homeschool and somebody says, oh, I'm from such right. and such place, we go in and we look in the map. On our I have one hanging in here. I do the same thing. Because um, so cool. <laughs> I don't know where they all are. I know where California, Florida, New York, and Texas <laughs> are, and Arizona. <laughs> oh, yes. So the typography art that you do. Um, you also have a series that you do with cactus or, yes, or yes. cacti. I have actually right? two alphabets that I've designed, and I'm working on a third this year. Um, one of them is, and I'm not going into order because you asked about the cactus first, uh, A to Z cactus, where each letter is a different, is formed by cactus shapes. So um, I designed that a while ago before I moved here, and when I came here, Really, frankly, during the COVID lockdown, I had always time to sit around the house. <laughs> so I finished designing it, painting it, it's done in watercolor, and it uses prickly pear cactus, it uses hedgehogs, uh, suaro, and uh, there's the one lone barrel, which is the letter O, because it's round. <laughs> and it's really, really fun. And I started the sketches on that in a little sketchbook at the public library in Prescott, Arizona. I was visiting a friend there. Yeah. Well, you, so not only do you have your art as art, but you also take that art and well, repurpose it for things like yeah. Greek cards. <laughs> and so <laughs> this, it is backwards. This, I think it's backwards. It's the, for um, that's one of my note cards of using the A to Z cactus alphabet. And um, you can see the letters, they are backwards because of Instagram. Um, <laughs> and I sell yeah. that, you know, people can have their name done. Um, I sell it as alphabet prints. Um, when I first moved to Tucson, I learned very quickly that people here are absolutely in love with cactus. And I thought, man, get over it, people. But now, of course, I'm in that same obsession. 
but we do sport the uh, the only place in the world where the saguaro cactus um, live are in the Sonoran Desert, and they are very majestic. They're the ones you see on the Road Runny Coyote uh, Coyote Road Runner cartoons. Those big, tall ones. They call the Sentinel of the Desert. They're very cool. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I should also mention um, that my original alphabet is A to Zoo, animal critters. Yes. A to Zoo, that's right. A to Zoo, that's right. So speaking, we, we were talking about oh, Dallas yes. Fort Worth Zoo. And so this is a good segue into the zoo typography, which is what? So... <laughs> What have you What have you done? How, yeah. how are that's the letters good, that's created a really, in the alphabet? Uh, that's a project that has a lot of um, um, what's the word? I'm looking to see if there's anything laying around. It has a lot of uh, legs, if you will, literally and figuratively. It was created in 1981. It was my senior project in art school, and yeah, um, on graduation day, I delivered uh, my first professional job utilizing the uh, animal letters to Pratt, where I graduated from, on graduation day to the admissions department. I am still friends with and am very much in touch with the woman that hired me to do that project. We're talking 81 here. And then shortly after, I hooked up with a business partner in New York, and we created posters, uh, alphabet posters, and they sold for about 10 years in mall stores. There aren't any mall stores anywhere that I'm aware of. So I took it more like in-house and I produced it digitally. But my most popular item, and again, you'll see this on my Instagram account as well as on my website. Uh, I like to make names for, I, I'm, um, mm, I'm just gonna roll over. I gotta get one to show you because it's the easiest way to describe it. Okay, go for it. This is, this is where I'll do the filler. Should I, um, should I do some right soft shoe? Okay, 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 here she comes, exactly. all right. Rosie, it's just a sample name, but you can see it's a giraffe, a panda bear, a swan, a penguin, and the rhinoceros, the letter E, one of my favorites in the alphabet. That's cool. This thing has been published. Ah! Oh, sorry, Bert. I'm going to put Bert down. Oh, yes, she does scream. <laughs> oh, Bert. She's okay. She's just a little, she's a little drama queen. I must have touched her foot. Um, so anyway. <laughs> oh, well, she's okay. So, so anyway, um, those letters have been, they celebrated their 40th year party uh, two years ago. They're at year 42 now. And they are extremely popular. They're a classic, timeless uh, body of work. And they've been exhibited in uh, Germany. They've been, uh, appeared on the TV show D uh, Dynasty. They've appeared in the movie Three Men and a Baby. Um, there's some original art in the collection wow. of Jimmy and, uh, Jimmy and Gloria Stewart uh, from the Los Angeles Zoo uh, Foundation Board um, that I gifted to them when I licensed it to the zoo for their fundraiser. It's got all kinds of neat stories. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So now you and I talked a while ago. Okay. I'm not going to give the secret away. But you have another typography big project. I think you still in have in the works. works. I don't yeah. think you. Yeah, it's an yes. alphabet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. When that happens, oh, oh cool. We're doing another show. <laughs> we're doing Sounds another good. show. Okay. All right. So Linda in Boston joining. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So we got Boston in the house. Yeah. Awesome. Um, okay, so now let's get to yes. outside of the top yes. typography that you do. The artwork that you, you've been so gracious to allow us to allow our feline frame family own uh, when they slide it for their backdrop for their cat and to pose in front of. Yes. Um, you do a lot of um, watercolors. I do. And um, we, we, have a, we have a section uh, called uh -huh. aquatics. Yeah. Or aquatic life. And um, that is a category. So uh, if you go to frameyourfeline.com, go to artwork panels, you'll find aquatic, let me do that here, aquatic life. And um, there you will see an artwork panel that is fish called Aiden's yes. Fish Pond. It, it, 
It is, as soon as I saw this one, I think it was one of the first ones, I was like, oh, cats are gonna love this because they're gonna try to eat the fish, okay? And, but it is beautiful. Let's, let's look at this. Look at that. You know, and the, and the colors on this are <laughs> wonderful. Um, and by the way, for those at home who don't know, frame your feelings. Yeah, they these are, are big. These are, are oversized 18, prints. Um, these 18, yeah, 18 inches yeah. high by 23 inches wide. So you're talking a yeah. foot and a half by almost two feet. They are big. That's how big these frames are. That's why cats can, and it's nine inches deep. Yeah. That's why cats can sleep, they can rest, they can turn around. Um, and this just makes That's an absolute backdrop. stunning yeah. backdrop for I your I want to say post. the, um, the yeah. interesting thing about a fish pond is actually in real life, you look at it looking down. So you can stand on the short yeah. side of the long yes. side of it. The painting was conceived vertically. It, it was originally it was a commission. Uh, and I sell a lot of prints. I do um, market it vertically, but it works when I saw it on your site horizontally. I think, you know what, that really works. Because nobody looks at a fish pond upright, <laughs> right? Especially cats. <laughs> yeah. But, but it really, really, it yeah, really works wonderfully. Um, and, and, and I encourage everyone to go to Janine's website. Again, that's jcda.com. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it's, it's a longer image, right? It's like a, a wider or longer, depending on which way you <laughs> hang it. But it's definitely, this is a, yeah, a portion a little of bit, that. A little bit longer. Because our dimensions yeah, only exactly. allow for so much. Yeah, it's more but, of a, a but, tall uh, or wide shape. I, I paint like that quite a bit, actually. Yeah, yeah. And Aiden is a friend of mine. He took a beautiful photograph also, because we mentioned church. I now go to St. Philip's in the Hills in um, Tucson. It's an Episcopal church. Uh, we met at our church in LA. And uh, he's a dear friend who is connected there. And uh, he uh, takes beautiful photographs. So that painting was inspired by a photograph that my friend Aiden took of the fish pond. That's got a nice little story. Oh. How, how much does it cost to get naming rights for one of your images? <laughs> I'd love to see. I'd, I'd love he's to very see very kind of generous, side, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah, he's a friend. Yeah, yeah, he's a friend. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <Mid -range>. uh, <laughs> we, we love the colors on that, the, the purple, the orange, the yellow. Uh, yeah, you know, great for a living room, bright in a kitchen. Sell it on yeah, tote so, bags. Yeah, so um, on tote bags. Yeah, yeah. You, but that you didn't stop there on on our site under aquatic in the aquatic life, life. you also senior have a piece fish. called senior fish senior, senior, fish. senior <laughs> fish which is a big fish i'm looking at it and i'm like am i hungry i i feel like Aww. a cat when i like i could, can't eat that guy i, I don't know i was thinking uh, of calling it like senior no, sushi not. i hadn't we lived in los <laughs> angeles do you know senior fish it's a real place yeah it's a it restaurant. Is, it's a oh, it is. I didn't know that. It is on the Ross Boulevard. <laughs> it doesn't get out that much. I, I don't get out much. I drive all the yeah. time, and I and I always, every time I drive, you know, I don't eat fish. I don't eat meat or any of that. But as I would drive by it, I would I would just see it, and I would say, "Senior fish." And so I had to name something "Senior fish" because it's a, it just rolls off the tongue, right? So uh, so senior fish well, got naming rights. I don't know about rights. my my fish. <laughs> 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 Taco, yeah. tacos, taco sales right. went through the roof <laughs> right after that. Um, and also, Seascape One is another yeah. where that's a watercolor. It's Very beautiful. Watery. It's got oranges and yellow. Um, we're going to, yeah, I, you know, next time we're going to have to kind of, I think we'll have to print yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. um, but let's talk about the colors because, the you know, the colors yeah. are fantabulous. And before we get into some yeah. of your sp yeah. springy stuff, let's talk about, about you. We have a section in our um, artwork mm -hmm. panels oh, called cool. Colors. Okay. Literally, where we have backdrops that mm -hmm. are tie-dye looking. We've got um, 
Uh, we've also got uh, solid colors, gradients. Um, solid colors, believe it or not, yeah. are amazing yeah. to have okay. your in front of in the frame. You can see right. that's Holly posing right now. Um, but yeah. when they have, when we, I mean, you put a magenta, you put a yellow, you put a blue, like whatever, if they're, if, if you have a white cat with blue eyes and you put the blue backdrop behind them, a solid blue, I, boom, their eyes yeah, just I absolutely do have pop of these, to me. Uh, pieces that you're talking about, I could show if, if you want me to. Yeah. Oh, but okay, we, good. So yeah, we do the thing too. I want to say about. So you, you, you are in our colors category. In fact, I think yeah. you're at the very top People right now. Abstract. Abstract oh, landscape oh, number 11. Number 11. <laughs> no, just that one. I thought we did. No, we have to, the magenta. The magenta. Okay. So, so abstract. I'm going first. He's going I, I thought we had it, but we don't. Um, abstract landscapes, you have 11, yeah. 12, and 13. It kind of reminds me of Star Wars starting off with episode four, five, and six. I don't oh, know what happened with one through 10. Maybe I someday think, no, tell they, us what the mystery is behind this. Differently. Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of landscapes and I okay. didn't want to sit there and name them all, so I just numbered them. <laughs> so those who are viewing at home, well, I'll just quickly tell you, mm -hmm. these are watercolors with these, like, yeah, just waves, waves of, color. of color. And it's just absolutely kind of beautiful. Poor, um, poor and so I encourage everybody to check yeah, those out. They're right at the top. Yeah. They they evoke landscape um, mountains of varying uh, types of cragginess. I grew up somewhere very flat, but I have always painted mountains even before I came west and actually saw real mountains. I love mountains. Um, so these are kind of soft, more like hills, but that is a subject matter that I've always done. Um, like I said, even as a child before I even came out here and saw mount real mountains, real mountains, New York. Where are you from originally? So the high, high there is in the New buildings. York, okay. <laughs> There's really no mountains there. Yeah. They say there are, but you know, New Yorkers think everything <laughs> that they have is the biggest and best, but you know, they're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Well, as we, yeah, as we wind this Oh, if anybody has any questions, now would be the time to yeah. type them in the comments area. Yeah, any questions? It could be anything. Any questions? Is this like an ask me anything I'm for okay Janine? With that. I think it is, you know, but nothing too personal, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, the Adirondacks. Don't, you know, don't, don't, don't ask her what her PIN number is, okay? No, Let's not number, go. No number. All right. So, but while we wind this down, there, yeah, while we wind this down there are two more categories that you are in in our artwork panels section uh you are you have a, many yes. in our nature category and in honor of spring because spring is, is coming everybody i feel it i feel it this is one of my faves ah. oh oh look look oh we got it see the yes. original and where this, it kind of came from and I had a feeling you were going to show that, so that's why I had that nearby. Tulips. Is, this isn't is that called an original tulips. Name? <laughs> it took me it, a long time to come up with It is, but the colors are. The colors are Thank are, you. are are amazing yeah, fun. on this, and the and the detail. On the on the watercolor, you can kind of see yeah. the canvas yes. a little bit, and the, yeah, it's really the neat to see. Paper, you can see it right there. It's a little blurry on camera. Yeah. But, oh, by the way, yeah. Oh, no, it's signed. The official Jean Collini yeah. so signature there. I should mention um, when I sell my original art, it's always hand signed. That's a digital signature. When I sell, it, um, it is. Uh, reproductions on my website don't sign them so if you buy from frame your fear line you're getting a signed digital print that's that's a bonus you, that's a bonus you're getting a digital print but then if you if you go to one of Janine Collini's uh, uh, showings if you travel and you end up in Tuxin. Tux, <laughs> Tuxin, if you end up there she may sign it with an actual darpy but but <laughs> it's gonna cost for airfare. All right. Um, 
Yeah. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Rosie Girl uh, says, I bet our black cats pop yeah. against that one. And that is so true. We have a, a tuxedo cat named Jolly. Um, he's resting because he was very active this morning. Um, and I have some clips on him on our Instagram and other social media accounts. He looks phenomenal with the tulips behind him. Um, you'll see him attacking the frame and running around in a lot of those clips, but he just really pops. Uh, there's Winnie, she's uh, up there. And I do I do lure them with <laughs> trees during our lives. Uh, like I said, some of you know, right now is usually when your cats are sleeping, so. Yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah. It's great, I love how they look sitting on the little shelf and then they're sort of bookended by two framed pieces. Um, uh, the black and white cat's so pretty. Um, yeah, it's real nice. It's real nice. Yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. And it would be really terrific to put a, a genie, Jeannie Kalini. Uh, I said call her Jeannie. Call I call it Jeannie. I call you, I call you Jeannie. But I love calling you Jeannie. Because it just there. rhymes. I like the rhyme. Yeah, Jeannie Kalini. Yeah. But it'd be, it would be, it would, would be cool to put one of your yeah. artwork art in the middle of the two, right? And have a and like a gallery <laughs> wall, you know? Um, incentivizing their appearances. By giving them the treats. That's, yeah. Yes. But typically you don't have We don't. They just, they just go up there. there and they gravitate. Cats who love boxes well, love frames. Well, yeah. You know, it's like actors for fun. You have to right. pay them. So the, um, the, the cats are paid yes. with yeah. uh, food. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but, but it's, well, no, you'll notice like Winnie sometimes when we're just starting our lives, she's already in the frame. She's like, "Oh, it's time for me to make my appearance," because Winnie just loves uh, being photographed and well, we have constantly we have adored. A, we have another frame in the kitchen, and every morning when I get up to make coffee, there's oh, always a cat oh. just sitting in there, <laughs> hanging out. You know. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that I'm What's like, that frame do you have? <laughs> Is it that walnut? Yes. Actually, okay. we have the silver one in there right now. Um, the the oh. frame styles are interchangeable. Uh, there's like eight screws that you use nice. to swap them out. And so depending upon yeah. the aesthetic that's going on in the kitchen. Um, but at the moment, the silver one is in there because uh, we've right. been shooting some things for spring. Um, and in our bedroom, we have nice. a gallery gold one also. And are they all 18 uh, yeah. And the other one is going up in the office. Are they all the same size? So. 1824 or 1823? Yes, mm -hmm. they're all the same size. Yeah, that's what yeah. consistency is great because that way the frames uh, can be interchanged. True. Yeah, the, the artwork yeah. are interchangeable. So the, the, that's the standard size, 18, 18 yeah. and a half by 23. Right. Plus, you 18. know, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Size for the cat's anatomy to sort of hop and do its thing. Do I? Yeah. You don't want it too yeah, we, You know, uh, <laughs> we're too big. Well, we yeah. we talk about we've talked about that a few times. Uh, I'm looking. We have a a wall in our kitchen oh. that's all fresh herbs. Or that's what it's supposed to be, but they don't always grow. And above that, we have our alpha version of Frame Your Feline, which was. Too small, too square, and it's become a plant yeah. hanger. So <laughs> we can look at it. Yeah, and that's where we started. Yeah, artifacts yeah. when you're already yeah. in period. So. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh and no. Don't want to waste no, that's it. cool. You that's know, a good idea. It. And it's up. It's up. It's up twelve feet high, yeah. so no cat could possibly access wow. it. It's very, very. Yeah. That's cool. high. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, well. Do we, if we have any questions from the viewers, now is the time. Throw us a couple questions. If you got one in mind, throw it out there. We'll answer it. Um, and uh, again, to uh, visit the artwork of Janine <laughs> Kalini, uh, go to J C D as in yeah. dog, A as in apple, which would, it stands for Janine Kalini Art. Design right. Art. Because I do both. <laughs> There you go. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I um, this is exciting. I, I really love to uh, 
be your guest today. I like I like being on Instagram and yeah, it's no, fun we... to have reconnected with you guys. We really we know each other from LA and yeah and uh, yeah. Well, we we appreciate uh, you, you and your talent. Thanks. I mean, it, it's absolutely amazing. Look huh? look at Poppy. Oh, yeah. Look at her. What the. It's fun. With the it's, so see, it's fun to see the and artwork by the way, you being used in a different um, way, and um, the um, the cactus love, love art, which I think you also carry, is a bright color. the The colors that I use tend to be quite bright, and that's what appeals to people. And I think that's what works well for this product because the cats do stand out against the colors. I could just see a, an orange tabby cat against those fish because there's one goldfish in there and it would, he would blend in more, but it would be a different effect. It'd be kind of nice. <laughs> he could hide out in the fish yeah, garden. Be, yeah. <laughs> well, well, we yeah. have an orange tabby. However, oh. at the moment, he's under the bed. Mojave spends all day under the bed and all night in the yes, yes, but I will try to record him because he's, Gorgeous. And so, hey, for all of you, all of you out there, and Rossi Girl 84, nice to meet y'all too, <laughs> Rossi Girl. Um, on Frame Your Feline, when you're looking at the artwork panels, you can flip through the artwork oh, yes. and you can see the each yeah. panel in different frame styles. And the last image in every artwork panel, when you're looking at it, is with a cat in it. So you can, you imagine can imagine what imagine what a cat, what a cat look like. Look yeah, like in the you know, frame. Look at that. See that. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is what typically I happens. Have, the I cat have a couple of friends on who are there. not on Instagram, but I want to send them this link because they're definitely cat people, but they they aren't on Instagram. So I, I'd like them to see the the product uh, actually in use because it's it is cool. Like looking, I can see them looking above Christina's head and yeah. the cat sitting in the tail. Brain. Uh, Yep. And the, and the funny the funny thing is, is so often Poppy will just be frozen. And I'm like, I'm recording video. I'm like, you can move, move. Because people, again, some people have thought it's taxidermy. And we're like, no, <laughs> it's a real cat. Or it's a photo. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. move your tail. Yeah. Move your tail so or circle yourself. See, so so. Sometimes we need, <laughs> we need a tail to hang over the edge or a paw to hang over the side. <laughs> Just so people see, like, they're not uh -huh. actually right? a picture, <laughs> right? So that's kind of the cool effect is that, um, you know, it freaks people out when we've had people at our place and they have no idea what we're doing and they see a cat in the frame. They're like, what am I looking at? What's, why is the cat moving? Oh, what? It's not art. So it's a really, um, it's a really cool effect. Um, again, check us out at frameyourfeline.com frameyourfeline.com, uh, check us out. Also, make sure you check out Janine's artwork. Get, get a some, tote get a tote bag. bag. Holy cow, follow, follow, her. follow her, follow her. Where on Instagram, I'll, I'll tag her. Yeah, but where on Instagram are uh, you? Instagram, are you at what? My Instagram is just my first yeah. and last name, Janine Colini. Yes. Yeah. Done. We'll tag you in this and uh, yes. make sure and, you and, follow uh, and there's her lots and of her art. Posts her. about my art, but also about the creation of it, the inspiration for it, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of a, um, you know, a lot of people like that behind the scenes stuff. I Now, speaking about naming, I stole I from do, behind I, the music, I, I like, like behind the art. <laughs> uh, I like when you have like your samples of like, I'm looking at yeah. these kind of colors, or this is oh. what I'm picking. Good. I'm glad I love that. I think you referred to my last newsletter, yeah. which uh, people really enjoyed that. So I have one coming out this week about lettering. I think people are, are more hooked into color than letters, cool. but you know, I think it's a makes a nice balance. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, awesome. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you for joining us. We super appreciate it. And we will connect with you guys. We'll see you next cool. week i think we're doing another live mm -hmm. i mean it's gonna be a little different a little different but uh we'll see you guys on another oh. live next week and thank I'll you janine and we will see right. you <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> thanks so much bye bye bye, bye, bye. bye. take care bye. Okay. i 
let you run it. <laughs>